Hello friends, welcome to another video, Doctor Pharma. In this video, we will discuss about the anti-helminthic drugs. These are the drugs used in the treatment of infestation with helminths in the intestinal tract. They are of two types: the vermicides, vermifuges. The vermicides kills the worms, and vermifuges expel the worms from the body. And let's discuss about the drugs which are included in anti-helminthics mebendazole, albendazole, niclozamide, ivermectin, parental palmoate, albendazole, levamizole, praxicondal and diethyl carbamazine citrate let's discuss the drugs in detail the first drug is the mebendazole the mechanism action of mebendazole it binds with the beta tubulin and inhibits microtubule polymerization and it also blocks glucose transport into the parasite. The adverse effects include the GS side effect, skin rashes, itching, contraindicated in pregnancy and children below one year. Uses include effective against most of the intestinal nematodes, roundworm, hookworm, whipworm, pinworms, also used in treacheriasis. And the next drug is the albendazole, one of the most commonly used drug. And the mechanism of action is same as that of mebendazole. It has a broad spectrum anti-helminthic activity. The ADR include the GI disturbance that is a nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and long-term use result in kidney failure. The uses of albendazole include it is used in intestinal nematodes and neurocystic sarcosis that is a pork worm infection and a hydatidic cyst which is caused by echinococcosis and a filariasis. And next important drug is the niclozamide. It is a second drug of choice of infection caused by the organism tinea, saginata, hymenolepis, Nana and a fish tub. The mechanism of action is by inhibiting the oxidative phosphorylation in the mitochondria. It produces only minor side effects. As compared to other drugs, it produces only nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, which is common, and skin rashes and itching are the common side effects caused by this drug. And next important drug is the ivermectin. It is a drug of choice in onchocerciasis, strongoloidiasis, effective against Ucheria brancophrey and B. malai. The mechanism of action is the after the administration of ivermectin, it activates the glutamate gated chloride channels and increases the GABA transmission in worms which result in hyperpolarization and paralysis of worms and which result in death or phagocytosis of worms. The adverse drug reactions of the drug is uh, nausea, omitting diarrhea, itching and skin rashes which is common to most of the anti-helminthic drug. And another drug is the parental palmoate. It is highly effective for the treatment of roundworm, pinworm, hookworm infestations. The mechanism of action after administration, uh, parental palmoate inhibits the colon acidation in worms, which result in acetic colon concentration increase, which stimulates the nicotinic receptors in worm, which result in persistent depolarization and further result in spastic paralysis, and the worms are expelled. That is by producing the vermifuge action. Let's discuss the area of parental palmoid, which include the fever, headache, and the GI disturbance as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and itching also caused by this drug. And the next drug is the levamizole. Effective against roundworm, hookworm infestations. It is also used as an adjuvant in traumatic arthritis and also used in cancer chemotherapy. Our next drug is the praxicondal. Used for the treatment of traumatodes and cystodes, but not for nematodes. The mechanism of action of praxicondal is by after administration, praxicondal it increases the influx of calcium into our body body covering of the worms 
and which result in increase in muscular contraction and spastic paralysis of the worms which further result in damage the outer body covering which leads to death of the parasite the adverse effect are similar to other anti helminthic drugs next drug is a diethyl carbamazine citrate this drug is given as a citrate salt which is otherwise known as DEZ most effective drug for treatment of filaria is tropical eosinophilia it acts mainly on microfilaria but adult worms are killed slowly by long term treatment the mechanism of action the D, uh, DEZ damages the microfilarial membrane structure uh, the adverse drug reactions include the nausea vomiting diarrhea that is a GA disturbance and uh, headache dizziness are the common side effect of this drug 